Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Next match, Cross Balanced Cup. So, we are still here in the top 16 playoffs. A couple of matches still left. Uh, and then we can move on to the loser's bracket. So, the left side and then you know, to the right side, which is eventually the top 8 as well. So, um, two matches left here in uh, the bottom part. The first tool here is uh, True King Dinosaur Yang Zing versus uh, Gandora XFTK. So, an OCG decklist. Um, I guess you can call it definitely one of the most consistent FTKs ever, even though this is in a highly hand trap heavy format, right? I mean, 2018, um, you know, most of nowadays hand traps are live or are possible here in this particular format. So, which deck has the advantage? I could hmm, definitely agree. To some extent with the people being that or seeing that true king dinosaur yang zings has like 64 percent of the people you know voting that it should or who could who could or would <laughs> win over uh, you know the gandora x fdk but um i feel it's still a bit iffy and i've read uh, through the comments i feel or at least if i remember correctly gandora x lost once in um you know in the, the previous round and during swiss i guess uh, but that was because of imper impermanence right because this deck has, has uh, access to uh, as a thought again uh, even before the fifth summon so even stuff like nibiru doesn't really matter too much if well, unless the deck is not able to go for Azatot, but as you saw, it's super consistent to get two level fours on the field, plus having access to at least one tuner, and you know, that, that one tuner, basically any two card combo leads to Halki, and good old Link format, 2018 Prime format, um, any two card, well, Halki, full combo, and that means FTK, so GG well played. The thing is, is that, as you know, probably know, is, is that this particular FTK I think wasn't possible in a DCG because of the OCG rulings with, uh, you know, Gandora and the original attack versus the current attack. I believe it's something like that. Um, but in the long run, like, like you see, the, 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 the deck was mind-blowingly consistent. So Gandora X has the first tool and I think... I was like, well, <laughs> True King Dinosaur Yang Zing, from what I remember from the deck, is that it has a high brick chance, like like you see here, like hand traps, uh, traps and spells for, for the Yang Zing package as well, like, like uh, on its own, the Yang Zing package also has like a couple of bricks, cards that you don't really want to draw into, you want to special summon them from the deck, um, so I guess you could definitely run over 40 cards, but again, you know, you're lowering your consistency uh, a little bit. But uh, that DD Crow got me, and eventually the combination of both uh, True King uh, of All Calamities and um, what you call it, Conductor, is, 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 is enough. I underestimated how powerful Conductor is against this deck. Uh, again, it prevents your Link Summon, I guess, putting all the monsters face down, as you know. But here in this case, I think I don't have... Too many outs against you know a true king of all calamities uh, i think imperm is an out if it's activated or you know if, if the effect is already used so i can chain imperm but i guess you know you should just wait when i commit to the field and then use true king you know kind of shut or prevent a potential imperm being there right but in the long run nope wasn't my duel this one so one not again going first and you see no hand traps so <laughs> Scoop phase is going to get entered really soon again. This is the most del del yeah, delicious opening hand you can have. Again, as a thought, it doesn't trigger when summoned, so you, you know, you can't Nibiru there. It prevents all the hand traps, DD Crow, Ash Blossom, here, at least here in this case. Uh, so, <laughs> an easy duel, you know, you, you, it's, that wouldn't make much sense to um, reveal or uh, show off the combo again, right? Because it's basically the same combo. Uh, so again, going second, game number four, and my opening hand, I see Imperm, so I'm like, okay, this could be okay against the potential True King, but that early instant fusion is, I guess, a sign of weakness, and I think we saw that the Conductor was searched as well. Um, so, <laughs> but this is what I was talking about. I also side out the PK, small PK package to search the Shade Brigadine, you know, because of Imperm, right? I, I added in more traps. Uh, so, you know, you're not able to use your Shade Brigadine because you're having a trap in your graveyard. And here, that, that Conductor was just um, a, a bit uh, ruthless. <laughs> I wasn't able to get rid of that one. So, okay, game number five. The last two. It's a five-gamer, and the deck is playing Triple Call by. That's 
you know, it makes the deck much more consistent uh, or more resilient against hand traps. And I feel that I think I had to use uh, the call by here because of the potential extender, potential extra level four to go for Azathoth to again, um, you know, potentially shut down even more hand traps, right? And this Ghost Ogre, nope, it's going to get shut down because of the Azathoths. And um, GG well played, I guess. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so that True King Dinosaur Yang Zing is main decking Imperm. So, like, like imagine them having Imperm. I guess you, you know, you could just keep Imperm for um, what you call it, the uh, Gandora. And uh, you know, uh, there is no FTK. And I guess with this hand, like, like. Uh, what you call terraforming, the draconic diagram, fossil dick, that's basically almost full combo, no? Like normal summon OV Raptor, pop it, pop the baby with your true king, search another baby, or yeah, yeah special summon another baby, you know, using OV Raptor, reborn baby. So yeah, if it wasn't for the FTK, like like any potential way to prevent Azathoth from hitting the field, plus um, you're not getting FTK'd as a whole, then I probably would have lost this much, uh, this match, but at, or at least, you know, Gandora X FTK probably would have lost this one. But, um, you know, that's why Azathoth is there. That's why Azathoth is banned. It's very similar to Shockmaster. Again, prevents your opponent from, first of all, playing the game. And, of course, prevents your opponent from uh, you know, using those hand traps, crucial hand traps, to prevent the FTK from happening. So, again, Dora X moves on, uh, on the right side. While True King is still in the tournament right, but on the left side. Next matchup, we have uh, an iffy one. Both decks from a very, a very similar age. So, Infernities versus Tango Blade. So, feel free to leave your predictions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like. If you enjoyed the video, leave me some now. Peace.